Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will give you messages and guidance from Spirit to help you through your day and on your journey. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Monday and have an even better week ahead. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? Ooh, almost had something there. Let's see if anything wants to come out today. The first message we have is the Ten of Pentacles, finances, security, stability could be on your mind, commitment. I'm also hearing the Ten of Pentacles could be something having, <clears throat> pardon me please, something having to do with an achievement or accomplishment. The next card we have is the Lovers. Now for some of you, this could be a commitment, Ten of Pentacles. Fulfillment of the suit, it also represents like family. We see within the Ten of Pentacles, we see the dogs, the elder person, the couple, the children. So it represents family in that regard, like the security, stability, togetherness of the family. Here with the lovers, Gemini energy, we see lovers literal in the literal sense. We also see union choices decisions we see the archangel looking over the union looking over the decisions i am being called to point out the aspects of divine masculine and divine feminine within the lover's card i'm also being drawn to the mountain and what i heard is the faith the size of a mustard seed can move mountains so that might be relevant to some of you. What other messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages for Pisces, please? The next message we have is the Page of Wands, a message coming through the early stages of a journey. Wands being passion, creativity, pages being messengers or early stages, early less developed energy. Let's see what else we get. What other, okay. So then we have the Four of Cups coming out. Apathy, disconcernment, lack of interest, not, not seeing an opportunity that, opportunity that may be available to you or not realizing an opportunity is coming in for you. The next card we have is Knight of Pentacles, very stable. This is a very stable, very grounded, pragmatic energy. Knights taking action, change, pentacles in your material 3D world. Also having to do with finances, security, stability, job, fi um, I said finances, um, but job change, career change, employment changes. Let's take it, let's see what else we get. What other messages for Pisces, please? So I'm, I'm being called here. So the, the Knight of Pentacles is facing the direction of the future. So you may be contemplating changes in your 3D world regarding your future. What other messages for Pisces, please? What other messages for Pisces? Okay, that's a lot, but we're going to take them. Let's see if we can make some room here. All right. The next card we have is the Four of Pentacles, Security, Stability. Some of you are wanting to make changes to be more financially secure and stable. We see a positive change coming in that is in fact going to lead you to something more stable, more concrete. We see a progression here from the Knight to the Queen. So if you're not familiar, um, we have the tens, then we have pages. This is a different suit, of course. Then we have knights, then we have queen, king, and then we go on. So 
I am seeing, I, I just heard the word additive. So it seems as though something tangible is going to be additive or added to your security and your stability. Let's get clarification for this. Spirit, what is this 10 of pentacles, please? Maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's new finances, a new offer, a new position. What is this 10 of pentacles, please? And we have, yeah, so I am feeling a new offer. Now, for some of you, this, especially with the lovers, a new relationship could offer you new security or more stability. It could add to your, the betterment of your financial situation. For others of you, this is about stepping into choose unions, choices, decisions, cups, emotions, we see equal cups, so something equal to you, something that's on par with you. Two of cups also being contract. So you could be offered or going towards something that is going to, I'm hearing better provide for you in whatever sense that is for you. What is this lovers for Pisces? What is this lovers for Pisces, please spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this lovers? Hangman, letting go, making a decision, sacrificing. Um, the hangman is Pisces energy. The hangman voluntarily goes into this uncomfortable, cocoon-like position in order to evolve, in order to really, I'm hearing get a sense of peace and regain order when you might be in a chaotic time putting yourself in a in a difficult position at least gives you some sense of orientation or control so for some of you that could be how the hangman is relating to you but what we're seeing here is the decision to go into hangman mode perhaps withdrawing going into consolation with yourself self-reflection Getting a new perspective. The hangman is also about sacrifice and letting go. Let's continue. Spirit, what is this page of wands, please? Show us clearly what this page of wands is. For the page of wands, we have the king of pentacles. There's a message coming in regarding your security, stability, success, finances. There might be an opportunity for something entrepreneurial. King of Pentacles is also masculine, earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You may get a message from somebody who has prominent earth in their chart. It may be somebody who has masculine behaviors or masculine characteristics as well. The King of Pentacles could be somebody who owns their own business or provides an offer. I'm hearing extend some type of tangible thing to you. What is this four of, cup, pen, four of cups? We have the four of cups and the four of pentacles, one on each side of the knight of pentacles. The knight of pentacles back is turned to the four of cups. So I feel you're leaving a situation of stagnation, discontent, and moving to something that is going to be much more assured or grounded. What is this Four of Cups, please? For this Four of Cups, we have the King of Cups. Going from a place of apathy, discontent, boredom, being closed off to a place of emotional mastery, knowing full well what you feel the posture of the King of Cups is slightly turned towards the future, but also very present, present in the present. The eyes are focused forward, mindfully very present and focused, but also with anticipation of the future. What is this Knight of Pentacles, please? What is this Knight of Pentacles for Pisces? And we have the moon. So the moon, Pisces energy, also creativity. 
we see you could be going into some type of change, a career change, job change, that this literally can mean working at night. It can also be a creative career change or something where your creativity is needed. Let's get one more card for this Knight of Pentacles, please, Spirit. One more card for this Knight of Pentacles. This could even be an offer you don't see coming because the moon could moon also represents something you don't see. What is this Knight of Pentacles, please? What is this Knight of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Show us clearly. <laughs> it's funny because I when I said, um, please show us clearly, I heard, I just gave you the moon. The moon is that we're not gonna show you clearly because the moon is showing that we're not showing you. Let's see if we can get one more card for this Knight of Pentacles. And we get the Four of Cups again. So yeah, um, we don't, we're not, at this present time, Spirit is not revealing to us the change that is going to occur in our 3D world. But nonetheless, change is going to be occurring and it's on a grander scale, major arcana, wheel of fortune, Faded or destined change. Let's look at this four of pentacles. What is this four of pentacles for Pisces, please? Yeah. There, there's a change afoot. So we definitely see there's a change regarding your security, your stability. For some of you, it's about letting go of one thing in order to receive something greater going from the four of pentacles to the queen that's a huge increase for others of you this is about Let, let's get one more card for this four of pentacles because what i was going to say is it's about becoming more secure we have the hangman here which is in a position of discomfort, of being upside down, of evol evolving like the butterfly in the cocoon, in the cocoon state. You could also be learning something that is going to help you or lead you to making some changes or have some changes come in for you. One more card for this four of pentacles, please. Yeah, you're going through a new door, Pisces. You're coming into something that's going to be much more satisfying, much more complementary to you we see within these three cards there's a cycle change you're leaving behind one cycle the world is the end of the fool's journey so you're coming to a culmination of a change that you have been in and you're going into this new cycle this new change let's take a look into this wheel of fortune what is this wheel of fortune here for pisces please show us what this wheel thank you and we have the lovers you so we do see it's divinely guided divinely protected but you may have a choice as well even though you may feel as though you don't have a choice okay so spirit's saying this is divinely guided Fated, destined, this blessing, I'm hearing blessing because that archangel is above the divine masculine and, and the divine feminine. I, I was asking um, Spirit if I should draw one more card and they said no. Um, in the natural, you may feel like you're in a place of stagnation in the natural, in the 3D, and you're wa walking, breathing, living day-to-day -day life, you may feel as though things are out of your control. The Wheel of Fortune is showing that if you feel as though things are out of, out of your control, it's because we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Eight of Swords is a minor arcana. This minor arcana are associated with your free will, your decision-making, things you have control and power over. The major arcana, Wheel of Fortune, Lovers, are happening on a universal, grander, divine scale. So these are things that are fated, destined, 
in alignment with your soul, soul contract, etc. So there's a choice being made, a decision being made, a change. Thank you, Spirit. A change being made for your betterment. Let's see what this Queen of Pentacles is because I feel this is where you're headed towards. This Queen of Pentacles, feminine earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, very stable, very grounded, practical, pragmatic energy, very fertile energy as well. What is this Queen of Pentacles for Pisces? What is this Queen of Pentacles for Pisces? Show us clearly, please, Spirit. What is this Queen of Pentacles? Something you're going to be able to hold on to, have and to hold. It's a change. Let's get one more card because the Knight of Wands... As we said previously, nights are about change or taking action. Wands are a passion, creativity. One more card for this Queen of Pentacles, please. So, okay, before I take another card, what I'm hearing is there is a change, which we see all throughout this reading. There's a change, there's a change, there's a change. You don't see it coming. Four of Cups, Four of Cups, Moon. But it's for your greater good and it will pull you or direct you in accordance to your fated or destined path. One more card for this Queen of Pentacles, please. Show us clearly. What do we need to know about this Queen of Pentacles? What is this Queen of Pentacles? We have the Queen of Swords. More feminine energy here. But the Queen of Swords is very decisive, very logical. We're getting very pragmatic energy, very logical energy, very clear-minded. One more card for this Queen of Pentacles, please. What do we need to know about this Queen of Pentacles? Okay. You will celebrate the choices. The, you will celebrate the outcome, I'm hearing. I feel it's going to be around business. The devil is also Capricorn energy. This could occur during Capricorn season, which Capricorn season, I believe, is the end of December to the mid-December to mid-January, roughly. And you're going to have a cup here. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. This is a fulfillment, material, material fulfillment, men mental fulfillment, and emotional fulfillment. The devil is also materialism. It is not negatively aspected here. For me as a reader, when I say negatively aspected, I, what I mean is it's not surrounded by other cards that make it uh, equate to something negative. It's surrounded by the Three of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So this is going to be something that you will need to be emotionally grounded for, something that is going to be related to your material world that you'll be able to have, hold, and that's going to benefit you mentally, physically, and emotionally. This is the message that I have for you today, Pisces, and I hope it helps. God bless.